Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, Charmaine. Good morning, Ryan. Thank you for joining me Good here morning. in Dallas, Good Texas. Good morning. I'm here. <laughs> Thanks for being in Dallas, Texas Ooh, on the Valder yes. Beach Show. Weather? Well, everybody loves Dallas. Is it warm down Dallas. here, Valder? What's the weather? I love weather's, Dallas. Weather's perfect. Oh. <laughs> can we get some? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are here. You know, you can come to Dallas anytime. Tell me. I'll start with you, Charmaine. Tell me about what are we going to see as you guys kick off the 2019 of Black Ink Crew. 2019 of Black Ink Crew Season 5. This season is much different than any season that you've ever seen because the past seasons, it was about NIMAG and NIMAG being already established and us working in NIMAG. And then last season, Season 4, you saw kind of the fall of NIMAG and you know, the fall in a, in a way of Ryan and how we treated Ryan in that sense. Well, this season, Ryan is in full effect. Ryan is back at the top and Ryan's making all the, all the decisions, okay? Ryan is the boss. So he's back in full effect. And really this season, the way it goes is in Ryan's hands. So that's the difference between, you know, what you see now and definitely what you saw last season. Ryan. Let me ask you, you're back in full effect. What does that mean, being the boss? What are you going to do different? Uh, I mean, you know what? It's um, I don't I don't like to uh, riff on the term boss. You know, it's uh, basically me taking the time away that I took to learn, you know, what faults I might have had, you know, so I could come back and be uh, the best leader that I can be. So now um, me being back and me taking over the shop. I'm just basically doing it in the right way. You know what I mean? I recognize my faults for what I didn't do in the right sense in the beginning. Um, learn how that didn't work and then just learn the ways to work with people and to be a better leader for people. Now, you know, that just allows for me to conduct business the right way. And, um, you know, people have something to follow now. Charmaine, uh, you kind of caught, you, well, you were very focused on last season. What are you going to bring to the new season? So, you know, last season, I definitely uh, probably caused a lot of drama <laughs> in the tattoo <laughs> shop. This season, I'm just trying to grow in every aspect, even down to the way that I dress. Like, I want people to take me serious in my career and anything that's coming out of my mouth, period. I want Ryan to take me serious. So this season is more about taking the higher road, not being about the petty stuff, and really just thinking about my next actions before I act on it. Um, I'm trying to be an example for these females on our show and for other people on reality TV as well. Obviously, reality TV definitely needs the drama, but you don't have to be the drama. You can just end the drama, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Sound like you've learned so a few lessons. I'm just trying to mature in every way. I'm 28 now. Yeah, like I'm 28 years old. I'm trying to mature. I want to get married one day. I want my career to take me serious, you know. So I'm just trying to put out there what I want in return, and that's respect. Ryan, let me ask you, I'll wrap up with you. As you go into this new season, how do you prepare for life after Black Ink Crew Chicago? because eventually you got to move on. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, in a nutshell, I've been doing that since day one. <laughs> so, right. you know, um, you, you can take television for what it is, you know, uh, as being entertainment, but also you are giving something to the people. Um, and if I'm a, I'm a service provider, you know what I mean, to be able to have people support you from around the world, uh, you know, and support your brand and your brand grows to be something amazing. You know, I just opened up 
uh, my newest location. And, um, you know, it's, a, it's an expansion of what I am. And all I'm doing is preparing to continue to grow that brand for the people and, you know, make sure it's one that can be followed for years to come. I think that's a great plan. Charmaine, after Black Ink Crew Chicago, we know Thank it's you. current now, but you're young. Like you said, you're young, you're beautiful. What's after? So it's so crazy because a lot of people in our position just kind of focus on the TV aspect. But I think what's so different about Black Ink Crew Chicago is that we looked at this as a stepping stone. Like we all have our own business businesses that we care about so much. And other than Black Ink Crew Chicago, you can catch me on iHeartRadio, WGCI 107.5 every weekend, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I also have my own segment, All Things Charmaine, on WCIU. It's a morning, a, a news morning show here in Chicago. Um, and I'm doing other things to expand my brand. I have an app coming out, and I'm always creating content. So I'm just focused. Like, I'm not a tattoo artist, but I'm just focusing, you know, on my brand as well. So once the TV show is done, which will probably be never, I'll get still get that bag, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. When you guys want us to tune into this new season of Black Ink Crew, I think you've already started, but tell me when. Tonight, actually, is episode two. You can catch it on VH1, 9 p.m., 8 p.m. Central. You guys have been a delight to talk to. We'll follow you because you are interesting, and I'd love to see what you're going to be doing as time goes on. Thanks for being on the Valder BB Show. Thanks, Valder. Thank you, thank you, thank you.